Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel, it's Lisa. Um, I've got an unboxing for you today, and no, it's not these two inks. I've already owned these two inks, um, but I do have a new pilot that I wanted to open up and share with you. I just got it in the mail. I just took it out of the plastic wrap so you don't have to hear all that um, information kind of going on. Um, I will tell you, I will put all the in information below um, in the video. I bought the pen from Amazon. Um, I got such a good deal off of the Amazon store that I just bypassed any of the usual haunts that I usually get all of my fountain pen supplies from. It was just too good of a deal. So let's get into it. I'm going to use one of these two inks to swatch um, the inks. I've got my regular Leuchtstrom journal that I keep all my ink swatches in. Wow, my hands look really rusty and dry in that <laughs> in this video. I'm sorry about that. And then I've got my ink swatches that I've been doing in my Stology. Now, I have a separate uh, video just as a FYI coming out on uh, all my ink swatches in Stology. So I've gone through all of those inks that I did in a couple of videos before um, with just my ink samples and not the bottle. So I've got them all finally swatched out on Stology paper. And the reason why you're going to see this is swatches on papers look different depending on the brand and the weight, et cetera, of the papers. I actually like using the Stology quite a bit. Um, it does not always show off the properties of the ink, but I do find if you're, unless you're just swatching on a ton of ink onto the paper it does hold up well and does not bleed through with fountain pens the drawback is it's better on just kind of a standard ink versus a sheening or shady ink so that's just a little bit of a spoiler alert i will do a separate video on that coming up shortly probably following this unboxing and i do have some more fountain pens coming so stay tuned to the channel if it's your first time here thank you very much for stopping by my channel where i talk mostly about fountain pens journaling stationery and occasionally art supplies and watercolors acrylics that kind of stuff gouache um, so i kind of love those things and those are the things that i like to talk about on this channel it always doesn't bode well for youtube statistics but you know i don't do this for the money so without further ado the new pilot pen um excuse me i'm shaking because i just sat down i'm going to zoom in a little bit closer um, comes into this wonderful standard box tells you that it's a new pilot fountain pen and that's all it tells you <laughs> um, there is this little label here on the side the box is pretty nondescript I'm very very excited to get this pen um, I was going to buy a pilot custom 74 but then when I saw this pen I decided to buy this one because it's a little bit different as far as a nib for me when it comes to the world of pilot now i own now a custom uh 823 and i own a pilot vanishing point pen um, which i absolutely love but i don't have anything like this in my collection from pilot and so i wanted to deviate a little bit so i kind of swayed away from a 74 which kind of has the look and feel of an 823 kind of sort of um, but I really wanted this one and I love the finial ends on this one. So you're getting the very first view like I am and I'm very excited. This is going to be a Pilot Custom 912. I love this pen because of the finials like I said. So it comes with uh, the Pilot Fountain Pen use case uh, scenario. So how to do the filling mechanism. A little bit of the pilot warranty card information which my Japanese is not good enough to read through all of that it comes with a standard pilot ink cartridge da, 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 da. and it comes with the pin itself and this oh, I'm very excited about I didn't realize that they sealed the cap hold on just a second I'm gonna have to get a pair of scissors to snip that open and then it has the box is nothing spectacular the box is all plastic which is a little bit disappointing when you're starting to spend this kind of money on pilot pins that they don't give you a little bit more of a 
premium case for the premium price of the pen, um, but it's plastic. It's got, as you can tell, some bedded stuff, and it looks like it is in there. So this doesn't even, this doesn't, I don't think, lift, uh, maybe it does, ah, lift out. So you can raise this, but it's underneath this kind of band here. So I'm gonna just leave that all together. And that's it, clamshell closing, plastic box, very sturdy though, very streamlined, pilot on the inside, and then the pen. So let's just snip this bad boy open. Very excited about this pen because I am not a big fan of cigar shaped pens, quite frankly. Um, I have them because that's what they come in, but I really do like flat, round, finials like this, really beautiful. And um, another thing that I got on this one, it's a Falcon nib and I never owned one before. So there's that. And I'm gonna keep the tab that gives it an indicator on my pen so that I can tell what kind of nib I've got on the unit. Uh, the band says, I'm oh, sorry, my band is turning. Pilot Custom uh, Heritage 912. So um, the tidbit with custom pins is the first digit on a custom anything is the year that is indicated by the first two digits. So this is the 91st, 91st anniversary year of Pilot. And the two would be the nib size indicator for Pilot, which this is their number two size nib. So this should be, I think roughly like a size 10 nib for them, if I'm correct. Taking off the cap. Oh, this will post very nicely. Ta -ta -ta. Let me do that so it looks like that. The nib cutouts, as you can see there, that is the Falcon nib cutout. So there is a little bit flex in this nib, which makes it have variable line, line change on it. Um, and then this should have hopefully a Con 70 in it. And if not, I've got to buy one, which I've got on order, but one comes in it. So this is a Con 70 converter as well. So this one, to fill it, you've got to pump the end. And as you can see, it will suck the ink up into the pen. So this one will have a very e um, decent ink capacity, unlike some of the other models of Pilot, which <laughs> the ink capacity is sadly lacking outside of like the 823 um, and some of the larger capacity ones after that. Um, really excited about that. I'm gonna flush this nib out and then we're gonna do a uh, writing sample really quick. I'm not gonna use the black cartridge, but that's always good to know. So that information can go back and stay in the box. And I will add this to my collection. And I'm gonna be right back. I just wanna flush this nib out and stick a little bit of ink into this pen. Okay, I'm back. Um, pen's been flushed with some cleaning solution for fountain pens. Um, I'm not going to fill up my actual converter in this video because I've got several pens inked, which will be another video on what I've got currently inked, but I've got like seven fountain pens currently inked and I don't want to ink this one. So it is spring. It's actually cherry blossom season here in the DC area, which People who are indigenous to this area or native to this area or live in this area, we love cherry blossom season. It's like all the pinks are blooming with the cherry trees. This is absolutely gorgeous. And unfortunately, I don't have any Pilot pink ink. And I do own a ton of pink inks, but these were the two Pilot inks that I do own with lots of room left over. So let's just use that. Let me get my handy dandy little writing pad out here from Galen Leather. And I will actually use the lined grid template just so I have that for straight lines. Not that it makes a difference because this is just a writing sample, but I just want to get this out of the way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do purple because it's like the closest thing that I have to pink. Um, oops. <sighs> Trying to break that. Okay, so let's just dip this in here. 
and uh, get this in so that we can just kind of get a little bit of this out. All right, so this is the, oh my God. This is the Pilot Custom, if I can spell. 912 with FA nib. Okay, now I'm gonna try flex action, which I don't have a lot of experience, but. This writes so beautifully. Um, I don't wanna display my times, but you can, yeah, there is definitely some bounce to this nib. This nib should be, um, I think it's 18 or 14 karat gold as well. Um, let me see here. Uh, it's definitely a number size 10 nib and it is, I'm not exactly sure if it's 14 or 18 guys. And if somebody knows, please let me know in the comments, but it's a beautiful writer. This is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, up close, just a really, it writes beautifully, it absolutely does. I'm hoping that I can get the hang. You can see if I flex a little bit more, I get a little bit more, go in here a little bit, deeper line variation when I'm going on the downstrokes than on the up. And there you can see it a lot better. Uh, let's see how it handles reverse. Okay, so reverse not so good and also I'm probably running out of ink from my dip, but um, you can get some really fine lineness like that or you can get some really big flex like that. Ah. Very happy that I got this pen. So that's all I have for you today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments below, let me know. If you own this pen, what are the pros and cons that you've seen and having to use this pen over time maybe, that let me know about that as well in the comments. Otherwise, um, like I said, thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I've got more content coming out. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you made it to the end, I really do love you for it. All right, have a good one. Take care. Stay healthy. Bye.